probably all of you heard that uh, news about uh, robots, artificial intelligence that is going to eliminate uh, um, many employees in various sectors of our economy. But today I'm going to concentrate just on one sector, on the legal sector. And I think the idea of eliminating, eliminating lawyers is very, very old. Probably all of you heard about uh, old joke about what is it, uh, 100 lawyers on the bottom of the sea. A good start. <laughs> Was it 1,000 lawyers on the bottom of the sea? A damn good, good start. So people do not like lawyers. So if they see a possibility of eliminating them, I think they find this idea very, very attractive. So um, this, uh, this uh, problem uh, attracts a lot of attention, not only of just people who um, must contact lawyers, must contact uh, uh, justice, uh, but also it's, uh, it's, it's very important for lawyers. And um, especially, um, I think starting from the last year, uh, we see a lot of, a lot of um, um, interest in the press and a lot of uh, headlines uh, that uh, announce, well, the end of lawyers. We see law firms of the future will be filled with robot lawyers, so no human beings as lawyers. And uh, JP Morgan will not use uh, lawyers because it has software, and there will be robot lawyers helping people who cannot be represented now by um, pro legal professionals. And we see even headline wars, so we have one headline saying that uh, lawyers could be the next profession to be re replaced by computers, and a few weeks uh, later we see another headline saying, no, it's not completely true, maybe in the future. So you see there is a lot of hype and a, a lot of, well, interest, but I think it's very important to understand what does it mean, in fact, um, the artificial intelligence. The problem I think that we must uh, be aware of is now, in 2017, we don't have a real uh, artificial intelligence. We are using this term, but we are not talking about the real uh, artificial intelligence. Because artificial intelligence, uh, it is an intelligence that might be compared to the intelligence of a human being. But we don't have any example of a software or any other machine that might be comparable to, to a human being. It cannot be as skillful and f as flexible as, uh, as we are. So, for example, we have, of course, brilliant examples of um, artificial um, intelligence, um, which is focused on a very, very narrow uses. So, for example, we have autonomous cars, which are very good at driving at, uh, at on our streets. We have the examples of software that, that can defeat uh, even the best uh, human player in Go. 20 years ago, the same happened to the chess players. But these uh, tools, this software, is not as flexible as a human being, because I cannot play as good uh, in Go as uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, software that was developed by Google, but uh, I can immediately after, well, being defeated in, 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 uh, in Go, I can start to write a legal opinion, I can start an argument, oral argument with someone, so I am quite versatile. I can do many, many things, and uh, the current artificial intelligence is uh, incapable of doing those things. And probably most of you know the famous uh, um, cycle of uh, life of emerging technologies that was developed by Gartner. And you might see that uh, on this uh, cycle, artificial intelligence um, is, uh, as indicated by those arrows, just uh, in the phase which is called peak of inflated expectations. So it means that we expect a lot from artificial intelligence, but it, in fact, it does not provide what we expect. So you see the next stage is uh, disappointment. So we may expect that very uh, quickly we will move to this uh, phase because we will be disappointed by the fact that we do not get what we expected uh, to receive from um, those, uh, um, those uh, examples of artificial intelligence. All right, but let's focus on the uh, legal industry. 
So there are many examples of using artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence in this narrow, very focused use. Um, these are examples of um, use of artificial intelligence in professional world. But I think it would be more interesting for you just to focus on those examples that may be useful just for every citizen. And um, let's look at the most uh, famous uh, legal robot, Do Not Pay, uh, that was uh, developed by uh, Joshua Brown. I think he was 17 or, 17 or 18 years old when he developed a chatbot that helps people just preparing an appeal against a parking ticket. And recently uh, he came with another idea of bankrupting Equifax, a US corporation that recently became famous because uh, it disclosed uh, personal data of millions of people. So he said, I hope my product will replace lawyer and will bankrupt Equifax. A bold, bold statement. So this idea got a lot of attention in the world, in the media, but I think not uh, I think there are very few people that really tested this product. So I am very curious. I try to test, I like to test uh, things myself, so I did it. Second name, first name, the address, the telephone number. And finally, uh, you have a link to the PDF file. Okay, I was surprised that it's so easy. Okay, so that's the result of the work of the, the most famous legal robot. So it's a simple form that uh, is filled with the data that uh, uh, the chatbot collected and nothing else. So that's the only result of, uh, of uh, the work of this robot. Um, on the bottom you see uh, another example, this is in California, where some, well, two sentences were added with justification of, of the claim that Equifax was negligent in allowing my data to be breached. Nothing else. So is it really, is it really a robot? Is it really and artificial intelligence? No, definitely no. The answer is very, very simple. Can such simple automation remove lawyers? No, no, definitely no. Okay, so, um, but why this idea attracted so many attention? Why so many people are talking about it? So I started to think about it. I, and I think the answer is that this tool make people feel that they can do something. There are many tools that are provided um, for people um, to do the justice themselves. So um, there are various forms, various procedures, but in fact people are afraid of using them. So this chatbot just give them, um, well, a car they, they give them, well, a strength, a power to try uh, to face the justice themselves. And this idea may be, very, of course, used uh, to produce more complex uh, works. So I use the example of a chatbot that I have myself developed. So this is an even more complicated expert system um, to explain GS Media case, which is very famous for any copyright lawyer. I will not go into details. If you want, just uh, try to find out uh, Robo Lawyer on the, on the net and you will find it. So this is a very simple chatbot that uh, ask you, asks you a questions and then you answer by saying uh, yes, no, not sure, and then it, it conducts you through the algorithm. Because in fact, this chat, chatbot is uh, based on the algorithm, so you answer various questions and you are led to the conclusion whether placing a link on your website may infringe uh, copyrights of someone else or not. So it's, it's very, very simple. And it uh, took me about, uh, well, six hours to produce such a very easy chatbot. So I imagine that Do Not Pay 
could be designed just maybe in one or two hours. So can we expect legal robots to take over the world? I don't know, but I'm sure uh, that it's possible that um, now we overestimate the uh, robots and artificial intelligence, uh, but it may happen that in the long run um, such artificial intelligence may really create a threat uh, for us. So I'm here at uh, the, the conclusion at the last slide. Uh, so I think the technology now just started to change the way we are providing legal services. I think that clients still want, want lawyers, uh, but not for all services. And I think lawyers might, might be the best developers of legal tools. So um, I think that the future is with us, and I think we should use uh, this fact, but uh, by shaping the future for us. So that's the appeal, um, my appeal for uh, lawyers, but also for all people that might use the services of lawyers. Thank you.